What? Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Anto and today we're going to talk about ChatGPT and how that can help with the DevOps daily work. So I've been playing with ChatGPT and I subscribed for the ChatGPT Plus so you, I can also test uh, GPT-4. And yesterday I was playing with uh, Google uh, Cloud to create a tutorial that you're going to see in the next few weeks. And um, at one point I, I, I was really annoyed by, so now I have to translate this gcloud command into Terraform and then I thought, oh, I, I can try to use ChatGPT. And I was surprised when I had this idea, I was like, oh, this is a game changer and ChatGPT can, can really help. I, I, I'll show you. So let's say we want to create a, an instance template. So we, we click on uh, create instance template and we put our name. So we say demo AI. And now we pick up our um, CPU and we go for a small CPU. And then we configure a few things here. So advanced configuration, we don't care about this. We, we are happy with this. No, I want to use the container optimized. And I want to have a 50 gigabyte size. Um, delete with this, Google Manage Encryption Keys, select. So now let's go with the default one or we can pick one from here, it's just for demo. And then we want to access scopes, I am Rose, yeah. So advanced options. So what, one thing I want to do is make this a spot instance. Where can I put the spot instance here? So, and I want to have a startup script and in my startup script, I have echo startup begins. And then we have echo startup ends. Okay, anything else? So yeah. Uh, we, we can go crazy with this. So now, instead of creating this instance, what I want to do is click here, get the equivalent command line and copy this. So now I want to translate this into Terraform instead of trying to do this manually, going on the UI, trying to translate each one, one by one. What I'm gonna do is go to ChatGPT and say, I I need to translate a G Cloud command um, to Terraform. The resource I want to create is documented here. And this is the G Cloud command to translate. So I paste the gcloud command here and, and we're going to pass the documentation page to ChatGPT. So why I'm doing this? You don't really need after a while, but the first time I asked to generate this, it got a bit confused. He got a bit confused and uh, ended up with the parameters that don't really exist in terms of I had to uh, tell ChatGPT, oh, this is the documentation, can you fix it? So there was a big top back and forth, but honestly, what came up with was saving me maybe hours of uh, trying to figure out every single thing. So, so now let's see what comes up with. Okay, this time is adding the Google provider, is adding the, the full thing. So let's see what uh, it comes up with. So sometimes you can get stuck on uh, some things and uh, you have to ask, keep going. But the first time I did that, so I had to uh, just uh, help uh, with 
few of the parameters of the compute distance template, but I think this is a phenomenal support for um, uh, doing this, this type of work. And it's going to keep me focused because most of the time what happens is that while I look at one of the parameters, I have to navigate the Google UI to figure out, I don't know, for example, the image, the, the full path of the image or the full path of the uh, subnet. And that takes quite a lot of time because you have to navigate through multiple pages. In this way, you just have to verify what uh, it does. And for me, is really saving tons of time. I don't know what you think, but let me know down in the comments because in this way we can focus on the next thing, right? So, and uh, I'll show you how we can combine this result with additional steps in our uh, infrastructure's code journey. So we can, uh, we can ask ChatGPT, for example, to create additional resources that are connected to this. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an instance group manager. Let's wait for this to finish. So for some reason, ChatGPT decided to fail me on, uh, on this. But when I tried, I created this uh, uh, in instance template. And then from the instance template, I created the uh, auto scaling group, so the um, instance group manager. And everything kind of worked at the first time. So I had to adjust a few parameters, but I also uh, did that through ChatGPT. So I passed the documentation and uh, the sections and it worked fine in a few minutes. So I don't know what is going on at, at the moment, but what I wanted to highlight in this video is the fact that our job is changing as well. So we are going to have, there's no point in wasting time doing uh, activities that can be done by an AI. So I think we should embrace the fact that AI is here and it's going to get better and better. So um, try to figure out what are the best use cases for uh, uh, helping you to do a better job uh, faster and maybe even a, a easier life because some of the activities that we have to do, especially the tedious ones, they really ruin our momentum. And if we can delegate these activities to an AI, I think it's going to be better for everyone, for the employers that have a faster um, time to market and for us that we're going to have a less frustrating life as uh, developers and as uh, infrastructure engineers. So let me know what you think down in the comments and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.